Hello, Glenn on the Ground. We are here at Whitney Fanouf. I hope I got that right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. So she's with Ukulele Magazine. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Tell us about Ukulele Magazine. Uh, we're a quarterly magazine dedicated to uh, the community of Euchres around the world. Um, we really want to showcase how people bring this instrument into their social life, right. into you know everything that they do. The positivity mm -hmm. of ukulele right. goes so far beyond the music and, and really into the day-to-day. -day. And mm -hmm. so we try to express that through lots of different things in the magazine. We run features, of course, of, of ukulele players famous, like Jake, who's on the cover, and people you've never mm -hmm. heard of as well. Mm -hmm. um, this issue has actually uh, Arlo Guthrie's daughter mm -hmm. of, of Woody Guthrie fame, mm -hmm. and um, Willie Nelson's daughter oh, wow. are in a duo cool. called Folk Uke, and they're out of Austin, <laughs> and cool. they both laugh and say, oh, we're terrible musicians. Yeah, right, they come from the legacy. <laughs> but there's all kinds of people that surprise you who play ukulele, and wow. we want to showcase those, those people. Cool, so how long has Ukulele Magazine been running? About two years. It's an offshoot of Acoustic Guitar Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, it first was sort of a supplement to Acoustic Guitar Magazine right, right, and then right. slowly developed into its own quarterly. Oh, wow. So uh, I know Jake is featured on the cover. Who else have you guys featured uh, on Ukulele Magazine? Well, um, as you know, Timani Gardner, right. um, she was on the cover of our Hawaii issue. Mm -hmm. And then um, the issue before that, we had sort of like uh, well, a, a wide breadth of people in there, but um, it was sort of a conceptual lifestyle issue. Uh -huh. So we talked about the way people are, uh, you know, making cocktails in clubs and what they're eating together and how they're <laughs> spending time together and uke cruises. It really is a us. lifestyle, like an ukulele it, it, lifestyle. I love that. I love that. That's what we're going for. I love that. Um, Sarah and Craig were in that issue oh, for cool. um, those ukulele cruises that they're doing that look so oh, nice, fun. Nice, I've never nice. done one personally, but they look amazing. I've never done one either, mm -hmm. but I see all the pictures that Craig posts. I'm like, we got to get on that cruise. Yeah, seriously. With get... free tickets. Why? I know. Right Craig, now. what's going on, man? Where's where's the tickets at? Come on now. <laughs> Come on, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, people like Heidi Swedberg have been on the cover, oh, cool. and she's a, she's a practitioner. So it really ranges. Um, one of our covers had just... Uh, a mother and a daughter from mm. a ukulele festival in mm. San, um, San Francisco, the uh, 1915 Pan Pacific sort mm. of um, celebration. It oh. was their centennial of that. That's mm. when the ukulele came mm. over from Hawaii and became sort of this mass popularity craze <laughs> out of that event, out of that event in 1915. So they did a um, I guess a Uk Jam and Ukulele Festival just like with whoever. And so random people get on the cover of our magazine. <laughs> you don't have to be Jake. You just have to love it and you just gotta play it. Well, you can't deny that million dollar smile though. That's why. That's how he gets on the cover. I know. Yeah, look. It, it's true. <laughs> it's funny, we had one person write in, they said, Jake again, because Jake has been on the cover once uh, before, but um, this is a really kind of neat interview that our Nashville correspondent did with him when he was um, on tour in Nashville about how he's managing, you know, his new life with a new baby, right, yeah. he's got two kids, mm -hmm. he's a very ambitious guy and he says, you know, playing ukulele has really helped him to be able to uh, do a show every single night. This guy's so ambitious, Yeah, you know? yeah. 20 shows in 21 days and it's then crazy. he goes, flies right back home and yep. he's with the family and yeah. he's got that balance because he mm -hmm. says, I'm not singing so I can, you know, mm -hmm. I can really kind of do this every night. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he also talks about some interesting stuff about where he wants the instrument to be. And that's what I find that's so special about, especially uh, Hawaiian ukulele players, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because it's it's ingrained in you. You're, you're born into right. it. Right, I mean, we're just surrounded by it, yeah. so it's, you know? Yeah, and he has this vision for it, like, you know, that he wants there to be a yo-yo ma of ukulele, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and the way he pictures the instrument yeah. growing and thriving. Right, right, it's right. It's right, very right. cool. Yeah, cool. So how much is uh, for an issue of ukulele magazine? Let's look. Hold on. Um, Six ninety nine an issue, um, but you can get a subscription for cheaper on cool. the website. It comes out quarterly. So. It comes out yeah. quarterly. It's only four times a year, but um, it's fun. We've usually got two or three lessons in there. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to gear towards some easier lessons as well because okay. a lot of beginners pick up the magazine, yeah. and we want you know we want people to open it and not feel intimidated by it. Right, 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 right. It's right. ukulele, so right. mm -hmm. and everybody should feel welcome. Mm -hmm. um, and then we always have three songs to learn how to play, and then like cool. I said, lots of features. We even have horoscopes in this issue, so if you're curious, you know, yeah. what your... I'm a Virgo myself. You're so, a Virgo? Yeah. Okay, oh, well, I can, uh, <laughs> I can 
Let's see here. Tell you your future what for is, what is my According to Ukulele Magazine, uh, what is my 2016 horoscope? This is the first time we did this, and people okay. either love it or hate it. It's polarizing, but yeah. I personally love it. And it says, um, you're going to be spring cleaning, Virgo. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. That's out of character of me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it says that uh, Lady Luck is on your side through the end of the year. Schedule some gigs, plan a trip to Hawaii. Well, you already yeah. live there. Mm -hmm. Your entire life will be full of the right time and right place moments. So keep your uke on hand. All right. I'm getting married this year, so that oh, is like that's, hey. that's perfect. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's so, awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. You like it. And you're we're actually going to we're, we're going to try to see if we can go around the other islands. So that Hawaiian trip that you're talking about, mm -hmm. it's like it's hopping on the other islands. So that's really cool. Ah, awesome. Pretty accurate horoscopes for you. Yeah. Ukulele <laughs> magazine. Check them out, guys. Uh, do you play ukulele yourself? I do. I'm not great. How I've long been, have you been playing? Uh, just this year, really. Since I came back from Hawaii right. and um, mm -hmm. I went to Hawaii last April oh. and uh, they, they put a uke in my hand and every time I was like strumming it, kind of <laughs> like, oh, I go, you got to make it. Benny Chong hands me his ukulele. Oh. You know what I mean? What am I going to do? I'm so nervous. <laughs> but um, but I'm, I can play a few songs and I'm cool. proficient and I'm getting better and better. As a beginner ukulele, how did you choose your first ukulele? Because there's so many out there. There really are, and it's so funny um, because people put the beautiful, expensive ukuleles right, in my right. hands all the time. I have a little diamond head, $30 soprano. Mm -hmm. That's what I started on. That's what I'm most comfortable with. It was lying around the office. Right. Um, you know, I think I think anything thirty dollars and above mm -hmm. will will really kind of set you at least starting Something, out, yeah, right? Yeah, great. And, and I think you know, if you're a man and you got you got bigger hands, you might want to start with a tenor, something, something bigger, something right. a little bit bigger. Yeah, the baritone's crazy. That's a whole different story. But I think you know, so you these days uh, tenors are much more popular choice than soprano. But right. for me, I'm still on a little soprano, and I love it. I stick it in my backpack mm -hmm. and I take it out. And as my teacher told me, just keep practicing just your keep strumming. Playing, keep playing. Strumming. Strumming, strumming, and that's what I'm doing with my thumb. Yeah. I don't know if that's unusual or not. You, uh, oh, okay, you're a thumb strummer. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I use my thumb for picking and stuff. For but picking. it's always interesting to, to you know, to get the take of a beginner and how they got their first ukulele or what they're doing. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, so is there anything else you want to say to the ukulele on the ground audience? Um, check out our website, ukulele magazine, or ukulelemag.com, and then we also have a Facebook page that's very active, and I, I have to say, people post videos that they make on our wall all the time, and I, I'm the one who's looking at them. I pay attention, and um, we are not just out to cover the famous people. We're out to cover everyone. So everybody, share, everybody. Yeah, so share yeah. your videos and share the stuff you're working on, because we really want to support the community. Hey, yeah, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Check them out, guys. UkuleleMag.com. Aloha. Aloha.